Thank you much. I'd like to thank Xavier for throwing me a birthday party tonight. I'm glad you all came. Um, so yeah, so I'm with uh, the New Jersey Office of GIS, and that's my that's my primary thing. And um, talk into the mic. I don't like microphones. I'm usually very loud. So um, Jersey is a weird place, right? Can I hear that? Can, can I get some agreement on that? When everybody thinks of Jersey, right? Oh, you're from Jersey. What exit? Right? You think of the Garden State Parkway, right? You think about the horrible storm that happened last year. You know, those are the memories. Or you think of this guy, or that blue fleece that that man did not take off for two plus weeks that smelled really, really funky. So those are the true memories and the thoughts that people have of New Jersey, right? But there's, there's a lot more that's actually going on in Jersey. When the storm hit last year, right, when the excrement hit the oscillator, we had a serious wake-up call. And that wake-up call was, we do not have enough public data. We do not have enough information out there for folks to respond to what's going on, to provide information to, to the general public when, when things are really, really bad, right? So we kind of, we kind of took a step back after that and we were like shit now what how are we going to support this we've got all these people who are like we want road closure information we want road information we want address points we want all of this stuff we did not have it how the hell do you deal with that at that point in time how do you start addressing that so one of the first things that we did paul was i think he were part of the project actually and it was we started getting a statewide DEM out there, digital elevation model. Shit hit the fan, there's a lot of water around. Where the hell is it going? Put that out there as a map service the day after. So first thing, bam, it's, it's out there, starting to make data available. Next, we've got a great image warehouse. We have imagery back, for, back to 1930. So here's 1930, then we've got the 2000s in there. I believe this was the flight in March of 2012, and here's the storm. NOAA did that flight two days, two to five days after the storm. We were pulling that info down, trying to get it out as quick as possible. This is Mantaloking down in, uh, along the Jersey Shore, and yes, that is a house that's back in the bay. That's how bad things really got down there. But our whole goal was figure out what folks needed, how to get it out there. The road closure data. Our road closure information was stored in a proprietary system. So basically, we're sitting there and we're like, screw this shit. We were able to get a um, permission, uh, account, whatever you want to call it, to get access to the web service. And since that point, we've started scraping that info on three minute intervals. And we now have a map service out for all road closure information. One of the ancillary benefits, there's a lot of folks who contribute to this. We've got New York, we've got Connecticut road closure information as well. Kind of cool stuff, kind of an ancillary benefit. But we're not there, 100%. So our traffic cameras, we've got a bunch of traffic cameras all through the state. We can't get access to them. Um, we're trying to hack and snort our ways around it. I see John nodding his head. He's probably done his fair share of hacking and snorting, trying to get access to it. We're trying to get to the place where we can take this information, we have access to it, get it up in a service, and get it out there. I'm ringing, excuse me. Um, so some of the other things that we're doing to support this new uh, initiative we've got, as new data sets start coming online, they're no longer going to be just the shape file to download, old school styly like that, getting rid of it. All data, as it's going to be refreshed and put out there, is going to be available as CSV, JSON, GeoJSON, TopoJSON. We're also going to have supporting map services on top of each of the data sets, feature services, as well as, um, as, well as uh, dynamic map services with the rendering pre-built. So get away from the old school, you've got to come find us. Start pointing to us. Start using some of the data that we're generating and putting out there. So it's a little bit of a shift in um, 
what we've had in the past, but you know, it's a paradigm shift and Jersey's a weird place. So thank you. Yeah.